Hi, I'm Tim Hollinger and I'm 30 years old. I've been coming to FBE for six months since August of 2016. My testimony. Um, my testimony is excellent in, in my opinion. Uh, I was born into a Christian family. Mom and dad, uh, strong, devout Christians. Uh, dad was the associate pastor at the local church, uh, led the worship. Uh, we were that family where anytime the doors were open, we were there. Um, and so uh, we'd be at church three or four times a week. And I came, I came to learn a lot about what it meant to have a relationship with Jesus. And I remember that when I was five, and I know that's a little young, but when I was five, I had this pull in my heart, this desire. I wanted to, man, I wanted to be like those people were. Those people are saved and they've got it. You know, they're, they're happy and they, they're servants in the church and they praise and they, they lift their hands when they sing and, and I wanted that. And so when I was five, I approached my mother and father and I said, hey, um, I think I want to be saved. And we sat down, the three of us, and then later that week I sat down with the pastor of the church and we talked about what it meant to be saved. Uh, and so when I was five, I prayed a prayer uh, and accepted Jesus Christ into my heart. And the very next Sunday I got baptized and my daddy baptized me in the baptismal uh, in front of everybody. And I did take a glance out to see all of the people staring at me and I felt really proud as a five-year-old. I felt really proud to be doing that in front of everybody. Uh, you know, fast forward to elementary school, uh, I was a handful, I was that kid. Middle school was a struggle, um, and I remember in sixth grade, we had an FCA, a Fellowship of Christian Athletes group at, at our school, and nobody would run it, and I thought, well, hey, I go to church all the time, I'll do that. And I stepped in and I did it and I remember having this, this sort of reinvigorating uh, of my life for him. Um, elementary and, and middle school got kind of just living life like it goes. Um, but when I really started to get involved again, I had that rededication of my heart where, yes, when I was five, I think I understood what it meant. But now that I had lived a little, and no, a 15-year-old hasn't seen it all, but after I had lived a little, and I really wanted to say again, I, I want to do this with my life. I want to follow you. I want you to come into my heart and, and just lead me. And so from then on, I wanted him to be not just, you know, the guy on my necklace or, or just some ethereal being in the sky. No, it was a personal relationship. And I was really active in the church and doing worship stuff in the church and having a great time with that. And I would say having the rededication and since has been awesome and ridiculously difficult all at the same time. Uh, I remember my my first job ever was as a landscaper. And I, I equate my relationship with Jesus Christ as a landscaping job. When you're doing the landscaping, it's hard work. You're breaking the dirt. You're getting scratched up by the thorns of the bougainvillea. You're pruning and clipping, and there's a lot of attention. And it's not fun, per se. But man, when you're done and you can step back and you see the beauty, it, it's incredible. And I feel the very same way about my relationship since having come to know Jesus. Very difficult, not easy, I wouldn't say, by a long shot. 
but it's the thing I'm most proud of in my whole life. And when I can look back at my life and, and see the courses that have happened and see how he has worked in my life and not just think, wow, that was a neat coincidence, but know that it was God watching over me and my little family, it's incredible. It's the greatest thing that I've known. Cool. Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to add? Or... I don't think so.